Hospitals continue to feel the sting of the water shortage. Now, over at the National Kidney and Transplant Institute, they're now suggesting a different type of dialysis that uses less water. Despite the crisis, the NKTI promises to keep its doors open for patients. Jen Kalimun tells us more. The water level of the water tanks at the National Kidney and Transplant Institute's water cistern reached critical level this morning. To conserve the dwindling water supply, management has to lessen their cooling towers usage and utilize air coolers instead. The water valve in some rooms were also temporarily cut down. Emma Ebo, a patient's relative, suffers the effect of water shortage in NKTI. Her two daughters are currently confined in the hospital. One is a kidney donor, while one is a recipient. Konting kilos, tubig po yung kailangan. Eh, kasi kada hahawa ka sa pasyente, kailangan magugas ka muna ng kamay. Yung bakante po namin ng mineral, uh, naglalagay po kami, nilagyan po namin, panggamit lang po. Yun lang po ang ano. The NKTI needs 1,500 cubic meters of water every day to operate. Water is their main necessity because they depend on water for the dialysis of their patients. The NKTI will urge the patients to try peritoneal dialysis instead of hemodialysis. A hemodialysis patient needs 100 liters of water per session, while peritoneal dialysis only needs 6 to 8 liters of water. Peritoneal dialysis is as effective and safe as hemodialysis if a patient knows how to use it. Sa hemodialysis, you will have 100 to 150 liters per Session. Ilang oras po yung session? Four hours. And naglilimang session na po ang NKTI dahil sa dami ng pasyente. So, malaking consumption yon. Ang peritoneal dialysis, fluid, yun yung ilalagay sa, ano na, sa abdominal cavity ng pasyente. And then, magwa-wash out yon paglabas niya to empty na lahat yung mga toxins ng body. So, it doesn't require water to the machine. Despite the water crisis, the NKTI assures that they will continuously accept patients. Other hospitals also pledge to extend help to NKTI. The Department of Health said that the Manila Water vowed to supply 50% of water demands in all affected hospitals every day. The agency urges the patients to limit the number of relatives to one as their way of helping in conserving water. Reporting for News 5, Jen Kalimon, We Are One News.